Hello everybody, this is Brian. And this is Janet. Welcome to the June edition of Around, Around the, the Lake. Lake. This is a video lineup of what's going on here in Mount Dora, and we are live at the Mount Dora Blues and Groove, and if you're not here, you missed out on an excellent weekend. Big time. Weather Big time. Couldn't be better in May. Nice breeze on the lake. Seventh annual event. How about that? And great lineup, best attendance we've ever had. So prepare for the eighth annual. Super nice headliners coming to that one. You know what's really cool about this uh, venue, Brian, is it's on the water, so people can actually bring their boats in and That's behind right. us, or behind us, behind you. As you can see, it's actually uh, a, a bunch, a bunch of, of boats already uh, <laughs> lining up. So. Wow, so June in Mount Dora, generally synonymous with hot. However, there's still plenty going on, folks, and we've got air conditioning. The Mount Dora Community Building has a number of events happening, and you don't want to miss any of them. Right out of the gates, June 6th, what do we have? Johnny D and the Starlights presents. my story, it's sad but true, about a girl that I once knew, she took my love and ran around, I see my blood ain't like more, I'm on the trail, I'm starting to drink, my feet teeth are full, I'm losing the way, I'm losing the get to the top, and I'm too tired to ride. Don't forget our regular second Friday events. Uh, gallery walk, uh, the city is still doing. Music in the park. Music in the park and Sunset Park. The first Free couple food hundred. and drinks to the yeah. first 200 people that come to the Sunset Park. And this is uh, to help the celebrate and celebrate the construction final phase. We're almost done. If wine is your thing, there's plenty of wine events happening in Mount Dora. First and third Saturdays, of course. The Maggie's Attic Wine Tasting, very large event. Come on out. First Friday wine tastings at the Wine Den. And there's always wine available at Norm's Palette. Ah, and Norm is starting to do painting That's right. with wine classes. And that's turning out to be a huge success. So if you're interested in having a little wine and doing... I think I'd like to try that. Yeah, see your I'm, artistic I side. Let's do that. I might be able to paint that. something with some wine. Wow. <laughs> a little okay. bit of inspiration. to be one of the only venues in Florida, and definitely the first, to get Chris Lemon. Based on his book about his famous father, Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon, and everyone knows that name. Growing up, the one question I was asked, more than any other, was what is it like to be Jack Lemon's son? And if you think about it, that's a pretty strange question for a kid to have to try to answer. I could be honest and say I loved my father very much, but that's not gonna cut it, people wanted more. I could try to dig a little bit deeper and say, okay, it was pretty strange spending most of my childhood identified as an object, not a person. You're Jack Lemon's son. He is my absolute favorite. George, George, come over here. You're not gonna believe who this is. This is Jack Lemon's son. What did you say your name was again, dear? Oh, well, that doesn't matter. You just tell your daddy we love him. So that's why it gives me great pleasure to try to do three things. Keep this terrific guy's memory alive. 
share with you a side of him that really only I knew. And, of course, try to answer that perennial question. What was it like? You know, Brian, here in the park also, I think uh, Don Stewart, our village market manager, is planning a Sunday old-fashioned picnic in the park. You bet. That's Sunday, June 14th. Come on out, bring your family, your blankets, your chairs. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of activity, country music, name it. We're going to have it. Unbelievable little types of food. Hot dogs, Hot or dog. you can bring your own dog Barbecue. because it's pet friendly. Bring your dog, that's right, bring your pet. So, so yeah, put that on your calendar for June 14th. And then, the week after that, June 20th, we have the return of Let's hang on. Let's hang on. It sold out last time it last was here. Last time it was here, sold out. A couple out. years ago. And that's, of course, no America's number one tribute to Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. That's put on by the Mount Dora Music Festival. That's right. So, Janet, there's a great event happening in June hosted by the Orange Blossom Cannonball Day with the Trains. It's a week long event featuring train rides $12 for adults, $8 for children. Wow, yeah. that's a great price. Yeah, those are going to sell fast. They're also going to bring out their motor car, which is the gang car. So they're going to take people down the tracks and give them a little education on what it takes to maintain the rails. Oh, that's cool. How to drive the spikes in nice. and have some demonstrations. And there's going to be the steam engine cab experience where you get to go onto the steam engine, work the controls, blow the steam whistle. And for participating, you will get a certificate of achievement as a junior engineer. And if you don't want to go on the train, you can always take a Segway ride, a, a cat boat tour. Cat boat tour, premier boat tour, rusty anchor boat tour. The Dora Canal. Canal is world famous. It's yeah. gorgeous. Kayaks uh, now. Kayaks now. There's Kayaks a, new. There's pretty paddle, much paddleboard. Endless opportunities. Yeah. Yep, paddle boarding. And you can even, you know what? Even Segway has these bicycle you can wrenches rent too. The electric bike. Cool. Which we've not done yet, but we need to probably try that. So well, squeeze it in. And we'd like to thank Visit Mount Dora, who not only sponsors Around the Lake, but also is sponsoring this great event here in Evans Park, the Mount Dora Blues and Groove. They give away 500 Dora dollars to people who sign up for our newsletter at winmountdora.com. That's right. You have $125 to spend in shopping, $125 for dining, $125 for activities, and $125 for lodging. Lodging, yeah, because you got to stay somewhere. As a teaser, we have to let you know that July 3rd, Independence Day celebration in Mount Nora, Freedom on the Waterfront happens right here in the park. And of course, across the uh, way in Simpsons Cove, there will be live music, food, entertainment at 5 p.m. up until the fireworks occur. And they're going to be spectacular this year, I understand. So come on out, make plans to attend. You can get more information at MountDoraFireworks.com. And that's going to be down by the lighthouse? The fireworks happen here in the cove. Okay, uh, so. But they won't let anybody on the lighthouse, remember? We got right. tossed off last time. We tried. Can you please leave this area out? Well, Janet, that wraps up June. We gave you some July teasers. What else can people do if they want to stay updated on events? They can go to what to do in mountdora.com. Come on down to Mount Dora. We are open for business. And even though it's summer, look at it. It's a beautiful yeah, breeze beautiful. out here. We it's gorgeous ask for out. Better. So, until July, this is Brian. And this is Janet. We'll see you around, around the, the lake. lake. Wow, Janet. Looks like that's it for the... Let's try it now. <laughs> so that's it for the month of June. Just don't, 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 just don't. There's also 